day this was Chesky, the 3D specialist at Autodesk ANZ. And today we're going to be looking at a very quick tutorial in Maya 2014. And what we'll be looking at is how to use a lattice deformer to create realistic tire deformation. So these two pictures here give you a good example of what our end result is that we're going for. What we want to do is we want to get that feeling that these tires are under pressure, that there's weight bearing down on these tires. So we're going to use a lattice deformer to deform the contact point between the tires and the ground. So here's a render of our final result that we want to get and I've just put a little checker pattern on here just so you can sort of get a good idea of uh, you can sort of see that the tire is rotating you can see the deformation that's going on there and you can see just down here this is basically what we're trying to get it's very subtle but this really does make the difference between um, getting a, a, a tire so it looks like it's actually connecting the ground and, and giving that car that real connection with its environment. Okay, so that's our end result. So let's get started. Here we've got our car tire. So I'm not going to go into modeling or any of that sort of stuff. That I'll save that for another tutorial. So we've got our car tire, we've got, got our ground plane. Now it's a very simple process of applying a lattice to this. There's several different ways you can go through this. First is we can look at the drop downs here and in deformation we've got this icon which is the lattice icon. So if I click on that with my tire selected you notice it drops in the uh, it drops a lattice on the tire. I'll just uh, delete that. Another way is by holding down spacebar we can go to create deformers and then lattice. And then now we're just going to add some extra points to this lattice. In um, the in the top one we're going to add 10, uh, middle one we're just going to leave as 5 and in this one we're going to add another 10. So we've basically dropped these points in here and these are the points of the lattice and they're actually what's going to deform the geometry of the tire. So if I just select the lattice now, just make sure it's selected, uh, right click on here and go control, uh, sorry, lattice point. I now have control of these points, so I'm just going to move my controller around. And you can see this line here, that's my ground plane. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm making sure that I've got soft selection on, because it just helps with this. So I'm just pushing that tire to the ground plane there, and now I'm pulling this out here, because I want to get that, um, squishiness on the outside of the rims here. Move that to there. Make sure you're selecting all the points along the lattice and then I'm just going to pull these in a little bit because if you ever notice um, what happens with the tires is they actually have a bit of a bulge more in this area here. So where they're making the contact with the ground actually kind of cut back in and that's because of the way tires are made they kind of round out on the sides like so so we've got that now what we want to do is create this flat spot here so I'm just going to create uh, just going to select these points here pull that out like so now these points that's probably too much let's move here pull that out like that this one here, pull them out. Push that in like so. So as you can see, it's just a little bit of playing around with it. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's us done. So let's just have one final look at this. Just select this and I'll just put it on a layer so I can hide it. And then let's rotate that. So you can see we're getting a nice sort of squash happening on the base of where that tire is hitting the ground. And what's good about this is we can actually link this or parent this to another object, like let's just say the suspension, and that deformer will actually follow the, the tire. 
So we'll just have a real quick look at that and then we'll call this quit. And I just parented the uh, lattice and tire to this sphere. And you'll notice now that uh, when I move that lattice and tire, uh, sorry, when I move that sphere, the tire and lattice move with it. So that's great for, let's just say I want the tire to, as he's spinning, I want it to turn a corner. And you can see that squash in the tire stays with it because the lattice moves with it. Okay, so that's a quick way of getting a good deformation in a car tire. Thanks for watching.